Hello and welcome to Questioning the Manager. Today we have John Bennett, Fund Manager of Henderson European Focus Trust. So this is a growth portfolio and it's investing in European equities. John, welcome to Questioning the Manager. OK, let's start with the French election. We've just seen Macron and Le Pen get through to the runoff. So what are the implications for markets? Oh, I think the implications are... Uh, uh, well, maybe, uh, the implications for me are a uh, result in a recommendation which was my recommendation this time last year, pre-Brexit, pre-Trump, pre-Dutch elections, pre-Austrian elections. Ignore the noise. Ignore the noise. OK, now there's been a lot of talk about whether US-based investors would actually start seeing value in European equities. So are we seeing any rotation out of the US towards Europe? I guess, I guess it's Europe's becoming less unpopular. So that's a positive delta. Or maybe some people call it second derivative. Will Europe ever really be popular? I mean, you know, there's enough reasons still to hide behind the sofa for so many asset allocators. I think it's the wrong place to be. And I think too many uh, allocators have been behind the sofa, using the political noise as the reason not to buy Europe. The reasons not to buy Europe are getting knocked away convincingly. Um, I do think it's going to be a very strong year, uh, 2017, for European equities. I think we are... Uh, perhaps even a third of the way through the gains already. Um, and I think asset allocators are behind that curve. I do think you will see money come out of US equities uh, and, and favour Europe. Um, and I think that is consistent with something we said last year, which is that we are moving globally from a growth to a value market. Europe is more of a value construct than is the S&P, and therefore it makes sense uh, for that reason alone. And there are other reasons, but it makes sense that money will, and I think it will, leave America and come to European equities. Unfortunately, I think some of it might do it a bit late. Um, as we speak now, it's definitely not too late, but it'll get late. And then people tend to buy things or come into the water when they think it's warm and safe. It's the wrong time to go into the water because that's when you overpay. Since Trump's election, there has been a reflation trade, so a general movement towards value-based stocks and cyclicals. Is this going to continue? Well, actually, until, until the day of the result of round one in the French election, if we take a really short period of time, the prior six weeks were bad for value, better for growth. And, of course, that is, you know, that is reflected by and even caused by what happens in the bond market. When you saw treasuries stall, treasury yields stall, bond yields rattled back a bit from the mighty levels of 0.4 something to 0.2 something, such as the world we live in, then that knocked on the head for about six weeks, value over growth. I don't think it's knocked on the head uh, durably, because I still think that we are going to be, as, as if we, when we finish 2017, I think we'll look back and say that it was the more difficult to own, more challenging to own, more volatile, big value names that actually came to the fore in 2017. Okay, finally, John, you previously mentioned this is a bit of a stock picker's market. So what have you been buying recently? What are you finding interesting? I think, it is, and I think it's a stock picker's market, but crucially in a tide that's coming in. In other words, the tide is going to lift most boats. In other words, I think we're going up strongly in 2017, just indices. But underneath that, yeah, I think stock dispersion is back, and I think it's back with a, with a bang. So um, if I look at my investment trust, uh, it is, I think, full of special situations. Many of them at, the, at what people would call the value end of the market. So recent additions to the portfolio would include United Internet in, um, in Germany, which, which as a stock didn't have a great 2016, but we think it's set for a really good couple of years. More at the, what people would call it the deep value end of the market. Um, some might even call it Euro grunge, call it what you will, post NL. I mean, my goodness, Dutch postmen and women, it's not gonna get you that excited. Uh, but I see that as a classic type of value stock. So things that might, stocks that might not have had a bull market uh, in the last year or two, and certainly Post NL hasn't, those are attracting us. John Bennett, thank you.